This will be a second opportunity to do a, a fairly simple series of VBA steps to do temperature conversion. But this time we're going to add a little bit of a, a twist to it. Uh, you'll notice that I have my sheet set up here with an input opportunity for a person to type a Fahrenheit value and a place for a person to type a Celsius value. And what I would like is, is I'd like the person to be able to type either in both of these cells or one of these cells a value and then uh, they hit the convert button and uh, the code runs. Of course I don't have any macro there right now. The code runs and puts the result of course into these two shaded cells. Um, let's take a quick look at the kind of code that I'd like you to write. Now the code I'm going to ask you to write is pretty explicit. Uh, there's lots of ways to write any program and I, I know you're all going to have different ways to write programs but I would like you to write the program pretty much the way I have it laid out here. So this is just the comment. It's going to convert the value in cell A2 to Celsius and store that result in cell B2. So first you would grab the value in cell, cell A2 and store it into a variable. I know that's not totally necessary, but I, I want you to actually do that so you can get more practice declaring variables and grabbing things from the sheet using the cells command and storing it into the variable. Once you've got it stored into that variable, I want you to convert that value that you've just stored and store the result into another variable. So you're going to uh, pretty much do what you did in the first temperature conversion program. And when you have completed that step, you should have the uh, Celsius value stored in a second variable in your program. And then take that value out of that second variable and store it into the correct final location on your worksheet. So it's a, just a kind of a step by step by step, very methodical process here. Once you get that running, then you can go ahead and do the exact same thing, but we're going to convert, of course, the cell value in A5 to um, Fahrenheit. The value in A5 would be Celsius converted to Fahrenheit and store the result into cell B5. So use the same step by step process as you did on this first part. So there are lots of things to think about in this particular program. You're going to need to declare some variables. You're going to need to do some assignment statements, so assigning values from the cells on your sheet to a variable. You're going to need to do the formula similar to what you did in the temperature conversion program to calculate the converted value and store that into a variable. And then you're going to need to take the value from a memory variable and store that onto your sheet. Again, assigning using the cells command, assigning that into your sheet location. So essentially, it's a lot of pieces put together in this particular exercise. At the very end, once you have your macros actually working, you can assign the macro to a button so that the user can just type the values onto their sheet and then click the macro button that you've created on your sheet to actually run the macro. So give that a shot and uh, if you get stuck you can always send me your workbook so that I can take a look at how far you've proceeded and kind of where you got stuck or you can ask questions in the Blackboard discussion forums. Thank you.